it's a, just pure sensation. It's magic. It's just like a flying carpet. The hydroplane is based on the foils. It's a foiler, so this boat is flying on its wing over the, over the sea. Those foils are the secret weapon that make Hydrocup Dare one of the fastest sailboats in the world. The carbon fiber foils allow the boat to move above the seas. This summer, the boat will go from Los Angeles to Hawaii in an attempt to break the Trans-Pacific record. Co-skipper Jacques Vincent has sailed around the world eight times and was on Hydrocup Dare when it went more than 50 knots and became the fastest sailboat ever. Going at 50 knots with a boat, we learn a lot because at 50 knots you, are, you have to be uh, very focused and uh, every detail is so important. Uh, now we are aiming to an average speed of 30 knots, which is much less, but on a much longer time. Alan Thibault has dreamed of creating a flying boat since he was a boy, and he's been tinkering with the design ever since. Now, he and his crew are confident that the boat has what it takes. It takes a long, long time to uh, make the boat seaworthy. Everything that had to break uh, broke, and it's a very long process to rebuild. So it took us a long, long time to have the boat really uh, reliable and strong. Adjapter was shipped from France to Southern California, where it's been reassembled. Now that it's almost ready to go, the only thing that's holding it back is the weather. Strong winds and swells over six feet could capsize the boat in the open sea. When you are in the water, you are in the water. So, and you are alone in the middle of nowhere. So that's uh, you have to be ready for that. We don't think so much about this. You know, we try to be serious. We work a lot, and uh, and maybe life is too short without you know being outside and taking a little risk.